Hey, what's going on, guys? Perry the Entertainer here, giving you guys another video, giving you guys another afterthought. Um, just thought since I haven't made a video in a week, you know what? Just do make a video. I'll try to. If this doesn't work, I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, let's get this started, guys. So today on the afterthought, we're gonna be talking about Piper's Pit from yesterday, and also we're gonna be talking a lot about our truth and the whole John Cena our truth thing, and also we're gonna talk about viewers' choice. Now, viewers' choice. Um, idea that came up last year, um, eh, very good, but let's get that, let's put all that aside, let's start with Piper's Pit. Now, if you guys don't know about Piper's Pit, Roddy Piper's, um, uh, his show that he has, uh, with the WWE, obviously, but, um, he has his show where he interviews people, you know, on random stuff, and you know, this happened last year with the whole old school and the Randy Orton and Wade Barrett thing. So, <clears throat> so if, um, so that's how you know the feud is going to get hot if Piper's Pit's in there. Because Piper's Pit is probably the best, not even probably, it is the best talk show on in wrestling history. So, that's just in my opinion. If you guys have any other ones, just... Put it down in the comments and don't say peep show. I'm not really the biggest fan of the peep show or the VIP lounge. I'm not, I wasn't the biggest fan, but on the Piper's pit, he had the Miz and Alex Riley who will be facing off at capital punishment this weekend. Um, basically, which started a match between Roddy Piper and the Miz. Um, yes, I have my notes right here if, in case you guys are wondering. Um, so, um, what to say about sorry? What to say about this match? This match was okay, you know. Piper, you know, he's got to be in his early fifties, so maybe early fifties. I might actually be off on his age, but I don't have anything up right now. So, um, if I have, if I'm missing anything, just put that down in the comments. Um, not much to say about this, but Piper won. Piper ended up getting five thousand dollars from the Miz. Um. But Alex Riley was the special guest referee, so, um, this Piper's Pit wasn't the best, but it's pretty much going to promote a storyline that may be bigger, so, I'm sorry that I have to move this every few times. I, I think that's better. I put it, I put it on the side of my desk now, so, like, I'm going to try and move everything over here so I can move my tape, or my chair over here, so, anyway, um, this Piper's Pit was okay, in my opinion. Um, uh, you know, it wasn't, like, the best one, but Piper still has the mic skills. That's what I want to talk about. Piper still has those mic skills that he had uh, 15 years ago. Back, uh, had to be 15, 15, 16 years ago. He still got those. 15 to 20 years ago, he still got those huge ring skills, or, uh, not ring skills, uh, mic skills, so good, they were still so good, um, so that'll do it for that, um, we hit a segment with R-Truth and Hornswoggle, uh, Hornswoggle was shooting t-shirts to the crowd, but R-Truth came out, you know, and he's talking all this smack about Hornswoggle, um, and then, you know, he's a good R-Truth and everything, so, Hornswoggle out of reaction, he shoots R-Truth with the gun, and uh, R-Truth goes down, but uh, as he gets up, he kicks Hornswoggle in the head, so uh, that's what sent Stone Cold Steve Austin to the Titantron, and he's like, okay, well tonight you're going to have a match against this guy, and turns the crowd, or turns the uh, camera on John Morrison, John Morrison made his return to WWE last night. But, um, not the best way for Morrison to come back because later on in the show, he gets jumped by R-Truth again and even gets hit with one of those carts that, uh, the WWE uses for NXT and their, uh, the whole obstacle challenge where you gotta push it up the... Uh, by the way, I actually might be reviewing NXT very, uh, very soon, very soon. Um, I'm thinking that the competition's been getting hot, um, might as well because... You know, there's not really a big favorite in this. I mean, really, the big favorite is probably Titus O'Neil. But, um, all in all, this this whole thing with our uh, truth and John Cena and John Morrison, um, I'm not digging it. I'm not really 
feeling our truce heel turn. I'm still not feeling it after three, no, after a month or two um, from doing this, and I'm still not feeling it. I am not feeling this heel turn here. Um, Morrison finally coming back. I actually want to thank Morrison for coming back, at least even trying to come back, and I know he's not done. Uh, he's probably going to be back next week. Don't worry about it. Um, but then, sorry, but then Morrison had, or not Morrison, but then our truth has something to do at the end of the show, which was John Cena and CM Punk. Our truth came out of the crowd, and he was, uh, treating water to a kid with a Cena hat. He put a Cena hat on. He threw it at somewhere. I don't know where he, where it went, because he got in the ring, and he beat up Cena after Cena lost because CM Punk uh, won by the distraction. Um, I'm, I don't know what to say about this. I really don't. Um, except for the fact that it's not been impressing me. C or, uh, Cena needs to do something to make this whole thing uh, not a total waste of time. So maybe the match of Capital Punishment, maybe it's got to be personal. Maybe it, they can bring, you know, bring the crowd... Um, I don't know, bring some weapons into it, you know? After, I know Cena's gonna win, because Cena's been getting demolished by R-Truth the past three weeks. Um, so that'll probably do it for that. I'm not gonna talk about the SmackDown side of All-Star Raw, obviously, because it's SmackDown. I shouldn't be talking about SmackDown on Raw, so. Um, I would, I would probably talk about the Orton thing, but... Uh, that's not, you know, that's not raw. So, let's move on to the last segment that I'm going to be talking about. Stone Cold Steve Austin had an announcement to make tonight. Uh, and he announced that there's going to be another three-hour raw next week. And it's the power to the people, a.k.a. viewer's choice. Now, if you guys don't know viewer's choice, go to the search bar, type in raw viewer's choice. But the first one is going to be the incident with the Nexus. I guarantee that the next, the first one's probably going to be about the Nexus. I wouldn't doubt it. Yes, the Nexus made their debut around this time last year. Um, granted, they're the new Nexus now, and they haven't been impressing me as of late. But still, they're a good team. Um, so, I'm expecting something out of Viewer's Choice next week because of what happened last year. So, I'm expecting a lot out of it. Um... Uh, Stone Cold, I don't know if he's going to be on there. If he is, uh, somebody got to tell me. Also, if you would like to tune into the storm, by the way, please, down in the description, please go tune into the storm on Friday. Um, remember, uh, every episode is going to be an hour until uh, I get more viewers every week. So uh, it'll be from 7 to 8 or whatever. The first hour of SmackDown for me. So. Um, also, one thing, I might not be doing spoilers anymore only because of the fact I don't want to know what happens on SmackDown anymore. I don't like, I never really did like making spoilers for everybody. Um, that wasn't the last I'm talking about Viewer's Choice. I'm talking about it right now, but that's the reason why I, I didn't make one last week. I didn't want to know what happened, but I ended up knowing because Black with Evil was telling me all the stuff on Skype and can I say, wow. Uh, also, I want to throw a shout out to uh, Nasty RKO Specialist. He asked me to plug him. Also, if you if you don't know who he is, he's the other member of the BWE Entertainers. Uh, very fantastic guy here. Go check him out. He reviews just about every show except for Raw, which he does with me. But we didn't do a Raw recap this week. Um, but uh, let's move back on to the viewer's choice. Down in the description, by the way, is uh, Nasty RKO. Uh, link. Go subscribe there, please. Um, so, talk about viewer's choice. I Obviously, I know that it's not viewer's choice. That's the one thing I know. It's not viewer's choice. All of this is planned out. That's the one thing that I hate about viewer's choice raw, is that it's all planned out already. Um, just pisses me off about that. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, um, viewer's choice... I'm expecting something to come out, especially with Capital Punishment being this weekend, uh, and which happened last year. 
uh, Over the Limit was last year, the night after Over the Limit was when the Nexus debuted. Uh, so maybe something after Capital Punishment, If Cap after Capital Punishment. I was throwing this around, maybe Tough Enough guys are coming back, you know? Some of those guys could, probably still could wrestle. A lot of those guys probably can wrestle. Um, you know, they were just told to suck. And they were told, oh, okay, this guy's going to win, this guy's going to win. That's the one thing I hate about reality shows. But, um, all in all, I'm expecting a lot out of next week. Because last night was not impressive, in my opinion. It was not the best Raw they could have made. Um, you're, you're, granted, I found it ironic how John Cena and CM Punk faced off again a year later. Um, no Nexus interference or anything, but... Still, there was, like, it was, I think it's ironic, though. I do think it's ironic that uh, John Cena and CM Punk fight again one year later after the Nexus debuted. So, I found, I found that kind of ironic. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's the Raw Afterthought for this week. Um, tune in probably later because I actually might have a SmackDown Afterthought because obviously if uh, I told you guys I'm probably not going to be doing spoilers anymore. Um, you know, check that out. If that doesn't work, I'm sorry. But if it does, okay. Um, all in all, an okay Raw. It was not that impressive. Um, I'm expecting a lot out of it next week, though. I really am. Um, anyway, that'll do it for me, guys. Perry the Entertainer, give me, f before I go, give me your thoughts on Raw down in the, uh, comments. Um... Sorry about no a week of without videos. Sorry about that. Um, my my uh, Windows Movie Maker wouldn't work, so uh, so finally I got it to work, and can I say thank God? So um, that'll do it for me, guys. Perry the Entertainer signing off, and peace out.